Now we're going to do a prop repair using this product from aluminum-weld.com called HTS735. Here's one I did earlier. There was a chip out of this prop just like on this side. I took a piece of flexible steel, I put it on the back side, got the prop hot, then overfilled it with rod, ground it off, and made that repair. I'm going to use so I'm going to do that same repair on this little trolling motor prop. It's aluminum, it's die cast aluminum. So first I'm going to clean it up on this grinder, and then we'll proceed. Okay. So now I've cleaned my prop. Even brand new aluminum is dirty, so make sure you get it clean. I clamped a piece of steel here. We're going to get it hot up to 735 degrees and fill this whole area full of rod, and then we'll machine it off. I'll start heating it up. This will take a few minutes. When we get it up to 735, I'll leave some rod on this area, and then we'll just rebuild that prop. Save 50 to 80 dollars. Okay, we just reached 735 degrees. See that rod melting on the prop? Now we can just fill that whole area up with rod here and rebuild that prop. Just like this. Now raise that torch up because I don't need more than 735 degrees to make this repair. So I have the ability recording. Okay. All right. We have just rebuilt it up. We're going to let it cool and then we'll machine it off and make it look like the other side. Okay. Here's our boat prop. I'm going to take the clamps off. Oops. Take the clamps off. The piece of steel backing just falls off. See, my back pitch will be done. All I gotta do is machine this off. So I'm gonna machine it off. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And there you have it. Not perfect, but it's functional. And you save $80 easily on a larger prop like this. Aluminum-weld.com. HTS 735 flexless brazing rod.